Yo gang, time to check out one of my other favorite metal elements. Man, I'm starting to realize, <clears throat> I think I just like a lot of different uh, chemical elements, huh? Because I keep saying, I'm gonna keep checking out one of my favorite metal elements. Anyway, well, here's yet another one. And this is gallium. Uh, but before we actually check out gallium, I keep forgetting, I keep dissing bismuth. And I forgot something in the last video, which is to check the electrical conductivity of bismuth. I'm so sorry, I skipped that step. Okay, so here's a chunk of bismuth. And just because I didn't do it before in my video about bismuth, I just wanted to show you that bismuth metal does indeed conduct. I can even grab, now that it's cooled off to room temperature, the bismuth that I melted and then let freeze back into crystals. See, it does conduct electricity. All right. All right, so now on to gallium. So I don't know if you can see what's going on here, but the gallium is just in a hot water bath. So this is not like anything super hot, no flames. What was it? There we go. All right, so Ready? Let me zoom back out a little bit. All right, so this is a metal that all I had to add it doing was uh, sitting in some warm water. Look at that. Melted, just from warm water. And I'm gonna be really honest with you, you don't even need a hot water bath. I only did that because the gallium was frozen solid in the uh, container I had it in previously. Uh, if you hold gallium in your hands, it melts like chocolate. The reason why I won't do that is because gallium, um, it wets your skin, meaning it sticks to your skin. And that's a question I keep hearing go around the high school, which is a good question. I even know adults asking it. Is water wet? The answer to that is no. Nothing on its own is wet. <laughs> you feel how dense it is? It feels like you're sloshing around liquid water, but it's metal, so it's much heavier. Anyway, what I was saying is that the definition of to wet something means for some liquid to stick to another surface. So if you have water touch an oily surface, the water won't stick properly, and then the water will not wet the surface. So it's not a correct question to ask if something is wet. Wet is something a chemical does. So again, gallium, even though it's not toxic, uh, the only thing is I would not want to get it in my eyes. And the other thing is that, again, it sticks to your skin. So if you were to get melted gallium in your eye, it could blind you or cause issues with your eye, not because it's poisonous, but because it's just a metal that's gonna coat your eyes. So again, gallium is not poisonous, but it doesn't come off your skin if you get it on. So I am going to put my gloves on because it stains your skin, but it's not poisonous. All right, so let's check something out here. No, I'm gonna tap out some of this junk. I don't know if you see that. There's like some rusted stuff that was mixed in with the gallium. I'm gonna like put that, I don't know, inside here. All right, I'm going to pour the gallium into this aluminum pan because I want it to start to cool off because we can get the melting and freezing point of the gallium. Remember, it is actually, oh, that looks so cool. Oh, it looks like it's coming for me. Watch out. Oh. It's like a horror movie. So I wonder if I could get, where's my infrared gun? Let me get that. Because if I can get the temperature as the gallium freezes back to solid, that will give me the, that will give me the um, freezing and melting point. 31 degrees Celsius is what it says. 30 degrees. It said 31 Celsius. Again, maybe if I get it all into one corner. Hmm. 
Hmm. Now it's saying 20 something Celsius, but before it said 31. Maybe if I get it right up on there, I don't know. Before it said 31. Let's see, are you freezing yet? Doesn't look like it's turning solid quite yet. Let's give it another second. Try to get a temperature reading on it again. Huh. Again, I don't know. Let me see. The temperature of the room is 23.5 Celsius. If I take my skin temperature, that's 33 Celsius. Human body temperature is 37 Celsius. So again, the gallium shouldn't be super warm because it does have a very low melting point for a metal. Now this says 27. The highest number I got before was 31 Celsius, but now this says 27, 28 Celsius. I don't know. All right, well, you know what? I'm gonna let this gallium start to cool off and freeze while we try to do one more experiment. Let's see if I get a small sample of the uh, gallium and try to react it with hydrochloric acid. Uh, I'm not sure if I've ever tried this. So I'm, one, I'm curious to see what happens if I do get a tiny bit. Can I get a little bit of the gallium? Oh, here, some of it froze. Get a crystal of it. There we go. See some solid gallium flakes there. All right. Let's put that in a tube of testing. And let me get some more hydrochloric acid. And let's see if anything happens. Okay. Gallium with hydrochloric acid, let's see. I don't know. N not seeing anything happen. All right, so gallium doesn't like to react with hydrochloric acid. A lot of metals do, but some do not react with hydrochloric acid. That's why I keep doing that test because hydrochloric acid can be used as a standard to see how reactive a metal is. So if a metal is pretty reactive, it will react with hydrochloric acid. If a metal is not very reactive, then it won't react with hydrochloric acid. Oh, here we go. Anybody see it yet? taking a while and try one more time to get the uh, freezing point still getting 27.5 degrees but before I got 31 degrees again while something's in the middle of freezing that is the melting and freezing point you have to get the temperature of it as it's in the middle of freezing so how do I know it's freezing well look what we're getting here crystals Again, anything that is a true solid will form crystals. See? Getting gallium crystals. Oh, while I'm here, we should also test the electrical conductivity. All right. Whoa. Let's try to go to one of the solid crystals there. All right, let's see. There we go. Gallium is a metal, therefore gallium should conduct. But yeah, gallium's a super cool element because, see, getting solid crystals there, but if I just held it in my hands and warmed it up, which I have done, it's just that it gets all over the gloves. So it's not toxic. Um, it looks really cool, but again, there are some precautions, even though it's not poisonous. Again, if you get it on certain things, it can actually dissolve. Uh, as a matter of fact, you're not allowed to bring gallium on an airplane or a boat 
without proper, you know, regulations in place because gallium can actually dissolve aluminum and put a hole in a ship or a plane, right? Just like how sugar and water dissolve together, gallium can actually dissolve aluminum. All right, I think you've seen this enough. Uh, I'm going to play with the gallium for a few minutes. This is kind of cool. Later.